All right, hey everybody, today I will be making your corn dogs the simple way. <laughs> yes, the simple way. Now, no, it's not going to be in the freezer section, <laughs> but I will be making it. Now, a lot of times when I've seen different recipes, people make it, you know, the hard way with flour, cornmeal, and everything. And then I seen another way we can make it easier with um pancake mix. But I was like, okay, no, I don't think pancake mix will go with that very well. So I just thought about, well, I think God put this in my mind, but I thought about making it with Jiffy Mix, y'all. <laughs> That's cornbread. So I'm like, okay, yeah, cornbread kind of remind me of the, f the outside of corn dog. So, yeah, today I will be trying it with cornbread, y'all. Jiffy Mix. So, yeah, like this is trial and error. I have never tried this before, but yeah, we're going to try this just like, y'all, this y'all first time viewing it. Well, this is my first time making it. So here you see the Jiffy Mix. Um, you see the hot dogs. That's the grease I'm going to, you know, fry my um hot dogs and corn dogs in. And I have skewers and popsicle sticks. Now, I prefer to use the popsicle sticks. I have the skewers because they're a little bit more pointy, but, you know, we'll all, you know, we'll see. So here I am about to open the box of Jiffy Mix. Now, just follow the directions on the box, but it tells you to add an egg and some milk. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my egg and add my, my milk. So here I am emptying the you know components of the cornbread mix into a bowl. I will also be adding my one egg, y'all. My one egg and also my milk. Just make sure you follow. Now as far as your milk, I don't have the exact measurement, but they should tell you on the box. So just make sure you follow that. So I poured my milk in and then I just stir, just keep stirring it until you don't have any, you know, any lumps. Now I should have stirred it a little bit more than I did, but I didn't. That's probably why it was a little bit, had a little bit lumps in it. But, you know, I recommend for you to, you know, smooth it out, mix it to the point where there's no lumps in it whatsoever. And I also forgot to let y'all know. Y'all see that honey? Yes, I added, once I finished mixing it, I added honey in it. Now, the honey gives it a bit of a um a good flavor because usually when I make cornbread, I like to add sugar to it because I like, like it to be a little sweet. So, that's the same way with the corn dog. So, I just added a little bit of the honey, you know, the honey taste. So, just to get a little bit sweet now, I'm not going to be so sweet to the point where it's, no sweet sweetie <laughs> it's That's the the word, sweet but you know what i mean it's, it's just gonna have a you know a good little taste so here i am just stirring it just stirring everything up stirring it very well i also forgot to show you um this pink cup that you see once i stir everything i'm going to pour the container the containers, the um components of the mixture into that cup. Now the reason for it is because it'll be easier to dip the corn dog into. And I also forgot to show you I have cornstarch. You feel me? And now the cornstarch is going to pretty much you rub it all around the hot dog, and that's supposed to be a binder to um bind your um your dip when you dip it into the the mixture. In order for the mixture to stay on the hot dog, you put cornstarch. Now, if you forget the step, then your 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 mixture is not going to stay on, and it's going to just be to the end of the um the pot. I'm not in the pot, but inside the pot, and yeah, you you don't want that. So yeah, <laughs> make sure you use cornstarch, y'all. Cornstarch. So here I am now. I'm about to pour it into the cup. Little by little. <laughs> See how it's a little lumpy? Now, I should have stirred that a lot more. So, make sure you stir it. Like I told you before, make sure you stir it really well so you don't have lumps of yours like I do. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to hurry on up. And that's where God is working with me with patience. <laughs> that's why a lot of my recipes, too. I don't have nothing to do with this, y'all. But <laughs> a lot of my recipes... When you have to put like yeast and different things, I like it's it's too much for for you to cook with yeast. You gotta let it 
um Sid and all it, it's too much for me. Yeah, you, you doing too much, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this don't have nothing to do with this video. But yeah, I'm just gonna pour all the comp um, components to make sure inside a cup, which will make it easier. Now here I am about to open my hot dogs. Now when you open your hot dogs, make sure you wash it off because you don't want it to taste like hot dog water. <laughs> Yeah, so make sure you just wash your hot dogs off and pat, pat it dry with a um, paper towel. You know, take some of the water off with paper towel. Now, here I did. I pretty much washed my um hot dogs with water and I pat them dry. Now, you only see about five because I don't want to make too many corn dogs. And it's not many people eating it. Now, at first, I was attempting to poke a hole with the screw, but since it's too long, I could have cut it, but I didn't feel like it. So, I said, okay, let me just use some popsicle sticks. But then, I'm going to, as you, you're going to see soon, I realized I could just stick the popsicle sticks inside the hot dog without even using the screw. And I'm like, okay, this worked better. So, I just used the popsicle sticks instead. So, but if you have skewers or if you have popsicle sticks, you know, you can use either or. It doesn't matter. Now, when you put it inside the hot dog, make sure the stick goes in the middle. Not all the way to the top. Not where it's poking out and, you know, nothing like that. Or not way like you're so scared to get in there. No. <laughs> get it to the middle of it. Now, I'm pretty much going to do the rest of my hot dogs. Here I am again with the popsicle stick. You see how I'm inserting it? At the bottom, just push it all all the way in, and it's so simple. Even a cake man can do this. <laughs> yeah, so just pretty much do it like that. And once I, you know, put the um things in, then I'm going to rub it inside the cornstarch. Yes, like I told you, you have to rub it inside the cornstarch because once you put it in the mixture, it's not going to stay on so the corn starts is like a binder it helps it to pretty much stay on so that's what i'm gonna do and i should have washed my hand off because the corn starch got on my hands when i was dipping it it was going into the cup too so yeah i, I should have washed that off yeah but see how i'm doing it i'm pushing it in make sure you get all the um make sure of the corn dog <laughs> make sure you get it all on there and see the excess that's dripping off just make sure it just drip all the way off into the bowl and once you know you know i'm sorry once you let it drip into the bowl make sure you quickly put it inside the grease now i already had my grease on the stove warming up so it ain't like i just turned it on to my put the, the hot dog in the mixture no it was on the stove so make sure your grease is already hot before you put your, your um hot dog in because yeah we don't want no soggy behind corn dog so yeah i put in um grease and pretty much let it cook now it cooked about about two minutes you don't want it to get too because as you're going to tell later on one of my corn dogs got a little too dark because i should have you know kept watching it and flipping it over so you have to keep an eye on it if not then that's what it will do okay so that's what i pretty much did now i'm going to get the other hot dogs that i did not put inside the pan yet and i'm pretty much going to do the exact same still repeat the process you know make sure you rub it around in the cornstarch and then dip it inside of your mixture and put it inside the grease and that's pretty much it and just let it cook okay 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 y'all now this could have looked better <laughs> this is my first time trying it so the next time when i do make it it will come out looking better but when i tasted it oh lord man you talking about it tasted like corn dog it tastes exactly like corn dog y'all so make sure you try this recipe i don't skirt it on the mustard and i'm about to skirt on the ma not marinades the ketchup y'all see it, like it was so good like i said i'm gonna just my first time making it so next time you know i'm gonna make sure i mix it in a lot better but this is how it looked it came out so good and it tasted so good it tastes just like corn dogs so make sure you try this y'all it's simple it's easy and it's delicious inspired dishes y'all have a blessed day